Yo guys, welcome back to new video and in this video I'm going to show you how to create a lazy column or you can say nested lazy column in our Jetpack Compose. If you are trying to do so, it will give you an illegal state exception because it is not possible in Jetpack Compose to create a lazy column within our lazy column. So how we can do this if you want to uh, if you want to create a UI something which is which have a header and just below to our header it has a list of item so for this kind of problems we have we have to tackle the different approaches and the one of approach i am going to tell you in this video so make sure you watch this video till last and you are going to get a complete idea how to create a nested lazy column without using lazy column so let's get started and see how we can do this all right so back to my code editor first you need to create a new project so it is very easy go to file new new project select empty compose activity go to next here you need to provide your application name your package name your location where you want to save this application within your uh, host or within your laptop and lastly we have our minimum sdk so after selecting all these things click on this finish but I already created this project so I'm not going to create a new project again so for that reason I'm clicking cancel so from here we are continuing with our main part so first I'm going to create a main screen composable so composable main screen and within this main screen I'm going to create a lazy column but before that go to your build dot gradle module app level file and we are going to use flow layout dependency because i'm going to use a flow layout in our project so that that is why you need to add this dependency and go to your build dot gradle project level and within our build script you need to add these two repository which is one is google and maven central after that sync your project and make sure your compose version is 1.1.1 and your kotlin version is 1.6.10 it is very important so make sure it is same now jump into your main activity and here first i need to create a data class because in our data class we have one header name and the second parameter or member variable is actually containing a list so that we show a header to the top and all the list below to it so for that reason i am going to create a data class having name that main class so first is our name which is a string and second is our list which is a list of integer let's say and after this i'm going to create a function which will give us a list of main classes so for that reason get main list and it is provide us it will provide us main class so first i'm creating a list which is a mutable list of main class and i'm going to add some main class in it so first one is name so for name i'm using one and second is our list so within our list i'm going to create a mutable list of and pass some random integer here okay now duplicate this thing several times and i'm going to create the header name 2 then 3 then 4 then 5 and lastly we have 6 all right so within our main screen i'm going to create a variable naming list and it is initialized by our get main list okay and after this i'm going to create a lazy column remove this content and uh, and small brackets open a pair of parentheses and within this lazy column i am going to call items so in items need to pass our list open a scope and here within this scope you are receiving one by one list item so it is a best place to create our list item so for that reason i am going to create a composable which is called list item okay and it is expect expecting a main class okay so it main class actually rename this main class all right so first i am going to create a, a text which is our header so use main class name and after that provide some style so use text style 
give color so i think the color is black and the font size would be 20 sp and after this i am using modifier and provide padding 8 dp reformat this import this dp wait a second yep all right so just below to it i am going to create a flow column okay so this flow flow column is actually uh, is actually something which doesn't have a height parameter basically it has a height parameter but it is not fixed it can vary okay so within our flow column what i am going to do yes i have a main class and within our main class we have a list so i think in our main class list i am iterating and in each iteration i am going to attach a new text to it so it will form a vertical list so i am creating a normal text and pass our integer to it and also providing some style so that it is visible very well so for that reason i am passing the color should be blue and the font size is um, 18 sp and font weight is let's say bold okay so yep this is a list creation within our header and that's it everything is good now i am going to call this list item within our item so list item sorry this one nah, this one is not our one list item and within our main class pass it and yes there we go everything is fine now i am going to call this main screen within our surface all right and i got an error okay okay so i am not returning my list yes now everything is fine and i think i am going to run this application in my emulator and see whether it is working or not all right so i choose pixel 2 api level 30 and run this thing here we can see our application is running successfully and the first header is one and within this we have a list so yep using this approach you can create this kind of scenario by your application for your application all right so i'm going to introduce one more thing suppose if you want to attach a set on click listener to our list item so how we can do this so i think for that purpose what i'm going to do within our text i am going to use modifier modifier and make it a clickable and within our list item after the main class i am going to create a call which is a function which has a, which uh, which have a parameter of a string and return unit okay now i am going to call this thing within our clickable so call dot invoke and pass our integer type so to string okay yep now i am going to receive this call in our list item and i am going to show you a toast so for that reason we have to take a local context so local context dot current and within this list item i am going to create a toast make text pass your context and your integer and after that we have a toast dot length long length, length sort so i use length sort and lastly i'm going to show this thing so now i'm running this application so our application will run successfully and here you can see if i click any of the list item we are going to see a toast so by using this you can track a uh, on click listener for your list item so that's it for this video and if you like this video please subscribe my channel and share to your friend this video so that it will also be helpful for them and that's it thank you